Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A twist in the Lauren death probe has led to the arrest of two individuals in the Coronation Street murder case. In Coronation Street, which premieres next week, Nathan Curtis and Bobby Crawford are taken into custody as the authorities carry out their investigation into Lauren Bolton's disappearance. Next week sees the culmination of the investigation into Lauren Bolton's murder with two more arrests. The strain is building on Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, who is being held in detention pending his trial for the murder of Lauren, as well as those who are attempting to disprove him. While Roy's acquaintances and family firmly believe he is innocent, some most definitely do not. Viewers of Coronation Street witness Carla Barlow, Allison King, and Bobby Crawford, Jack Carroll, in a dramatic week of episodes spread across five nights, when they are accused of perverting the course of justice. But just when it appears like Kit Green, Jacob Robers, and D.S. Swain, Vicky Myers, are going to solve the case, fans will be dealt a sudden blow when a fresh piece of information reveals Lauren's true killer. Is there still a predator out there, or have the cops caught their man? In the meantime, Bethany Platt, Lucy Fallon, is certain that Lauren's murder was caused by Nathan Curtis, Chris Harper. At her breaking point, Sarah Barlow, Tina O'Brien, Bethany's daughter, makes a risky decision in an attempt to permanently break up with her sex offender ex. Is Sarah in danger, though, if she gets caught in the act? Or will Nathan be implicated by evidence the police uncover of their own? In later scenes, as Nathan drives his vehicle past Sarah, frightening her, Sarah and Bethany denounce him to the police for violating the conditions of his license. Sarah pays Nathan a visit at the construction site and reminds him that he accepted £10,000 to leave town, just as Bethany makes another threat to leave Weatherfield. Sarah devises a strategy after Nathan laughs in her face and comes back holding a plastic bag that contains Lauren's hair bobble, which she had left in her belongings at the Platts. Sarah is forced to confess that she intended to hide the hair bobble in Nathan's van as evidence that he killed Lauren after Kit catches her in the process. She should let the police do their job, Kit begs. In another scene, Bobby and Carla are informed by Nina Lucas, Molly Gallagher, that Roy's trial date is approaching. Carla is asked by D.S. Swain why she and Roy have broken up. Carla puts an end to it. When D.S. Swain pays Roy a visit in prison, he directly inquires as to whether Bobby's statement has anything to do with his falling out with Carla. Nathan is taken into custody by Kid on charges of violating his sexual harm prevention order when he searches his van and finds several USB sticks. Later, Carla receives a warning from D.S. Swain that Bobby's lies aren't benefiting anyone, least of all Roy, and Bobby is arrested on suspicion of tampering with the legal system. Roy's defense is shot down, and D.D. Bailey, Shanique Sterling Brown, realizes with horror that Carla has revealed that Bobby has been detained for perverting the course of justice. Sarah asks Kit, somewhere else, what they discovered in Nathan's van. Kit says he won't mention Lauren when he shows that it's one of her hairs and implies that she must have dropped it. Joel Deering, Callum Lill, was present when D.S. Swain and Kit started Nathan's interview. Sarah tells Daniel Osborne, Rob Mallard, and Bethany about her scheme to set Nathan up, and now he's been arrested. Daniel is furious. Nathan is shaken when D.S. Swain tells him that the girl who gave him an alibi for the night Lauren vanished has changed her mind. Nathan won't respond when D.S. Swain challenges him about his preference for young girls and implies he killed Lauren. Joel's admission that he is representing Nathan infuriates D.D. Daniel tells Bethany that he would never turn on Sarah, and D.D.'s only hope is that Nathan is truly guilty because if he isn't, the true murderer would go free. Joel is reassured by Nathan that he is innocent and that he believes Sarah put Lauren's hair. Daniel and Bethany call Nikki Wheatley, Kimberly Hart Simpson, and ask her to put them in contact with Ellie because they believe she has important information that might help them gather more evidence against Nathan. Ellie tells Bethany about a client she once had who was very affectionate and even started to date her, but who then turned horrible and threatened to kill her. Will Ellie confirm it was Nathan when Bethany shows her his photo? Alan Halsall of Coronation Street cracks a sly joke about being single following his split with former co-star Tisha Mary. Star of Coronation Street Alan Halsall joked cheekily about being unmarried following his split from former co-star Tisha Mary. The actor, best known for his part as Tyrone Dobbs in the ITV soap opera, got to know Tisha on the set in 2013 and 2018 when she portrayed Steph Britton on The Cobbles. 
Shortly after she left the show, they started dating. In February, they declared their breakup following a five-year romance. After posting a funny video on Instagram three months after their divorce, Alan joked that he might be using dating apps to find a new relationship. The actor, 41, shared the amusing incident when a playful puppy tried to climb him on Sunday, May 26. Seems like we're not the best of friends, he said as the caption for a photo he uploaded of the dog. I've had the most action in a long time, FFSFML. According to The Mirror, he later posted another image of himself with the puppy, implying that it might be his new Tinder profile picture and raising the possibility of a comeback to the dating scene. For 20 years, Alan has portrayed the Weatherfield mechanic on Corey. From 2009 to 2018, he was wed to Hollyoaks actress Lucy Jo Hudson. He is also with her as the father of Sienna Ray. Alan had to withdraw from I'm a Celebrity prior to his recent split from Tisha because of a severe knee injury that required a lengthy reconstructive procedure. Alan posted this on Instagram, along with a picture of himself recuperating, surgery for ACL reconstruction. Well, I had ACL reconstructive surgery on Friday. I've been informed that the procedure went quite well. He continued, I know I have a long 9 to 12 months of rehabilitation ahead of me but I'm sure with the support of family and friends I'll get there. Smackdown Soap ITV's massive schedule shakeup will see Coronation Street and EastEnders fight all week. A new episode schedule will see two of the country's most popular soap operas airing at the same time. The plot of Coronation Street is about to blow up, and fans will finally find out what happened to missing Lauren Bolton, Kate Fitton. Lauren, a teenager, vanished under unexplained circumstances earlier this year. BBC rival EastEnders and Corey will share airtime. This week, instead of the customary three one-hour episodes spread out over a week, the ITV soap opera will air episodes every night. Regarding the Lauren plot, a number of scenarios have been proposed regarding what might have happened that tragic night. Since Roy Cropper, the adored cafe owner, was taken into custody and accused of her murder, he has emerged as an improbable lead suspect. Though convicted groomer Nathan Curtis, Christopher Harper, has returned to the cobbles, Roy's loved ones are still confident of his innocence. After being freed from prison in 2017 for manipulating a defenseless Bethany Platt, vile Nathan has now made a comeback. The next scenes will see Nathan brought to the attention of the police and Roy's incarceration reach a breaking point. The same day will be reenacted in the first four episodes, but from the perspectives of several persons. Sarah, Tina O'Brien, is committed to freeing Bethany, Lucy Fallon, her daughter, from Nathan's evil. Whatever the consequences, Sarah is resolved to establish Nathan's involvement in Lauren's disappearance while Bethany makes threats to leave Weatherfield. Not only is she after Nathan, but D.S. Swain, Vicky Myers, is also after him. Will the police succeed in apprehending him? There's also pressure on Bobby, Jack Carroll, and Carla, Allison King. Desperate to clear Roy's name, the aunt and nephew face accusations of tampering with the legal system. While Roy awaits his trial for Lauren's murder, D.D. Shanique Sterling Brown battles for justice for Roy, while far-right activist Griff, Michael Condren, returns to Weatherfield Prison. Griff decides to try to coerce Roy into making a confession as he thinks Roy killed Lauren. Roy's life is in jeopardy, and it soon becomes apparent that he is in great danger. The audience will be shocked to learn of an important piece of information that may clear Roy's name.